The message that I wanted to send with the hills was bish bash bosh, she's here, she's from London. I think black and POC people are very celebrated when we're doing things like sports and footballs and a high achieving. Um, but if you're anything less than the most exceptional talent, you're deemed in sometimes a certain way or particular way. And I just wanted to show that the artist I am has come from being raised in London, being in the UK, and that's a celebratory thing. As much as I am Zimbabwean, I am from the UK, I'm born and raised here. It's had a massive impact in, I mean, the music I write, my culture, my art. It's kind of like parading that and showing what it's like being, you know, a black Brit with immigrant parents mm -hmm. and what that means and what that looks like. It was important for The Hills because I think people listen to it and think I'm saying I don't belong mm -hmm. in the UK. I'm actually saying the complete opposite because I wrote it while I was in LA having quite a terrible time because I was like, oh, I don't belong here in these hills. Mm -hmm. I actually belong back in, uh, back in South London or East London. When I wrote uh, The Hills, I was definitely having quite a time. And now upon reflection, I think I was emotionally underprepared. So that really made me super homesick. I missed London. I missed the people. I missed the culture. Like everything in LA closes early. There ain't no pubs. I'm like, what's going on here? It was like the last three days of the trip. I had my final session, weren't going the best. And I was with Aaron Shadro. We went back to his house and he was just like slamming on these drums and I'm just like singing this thing. And he starts just like rocking out on the guitar and I made a song about how much I miss home and we were in the hills and I grew up near some hills in the UK and he was in his hills and I was just like these aren't my hills I gotta go back to my own and celebrate coming home something I've been fighting is the whole, you know, being a black artist and doing what is perceived as white music and trying to break that barrier. And I think if you start a project with something so far from what you're stereotyped as, you kind of can't even preconceive what the rest of the album will be like. And I think it was important, important to put that statement out first so that anyone who listens after will be like, oh, she does this kind of thing and will have, you know, an open, open heart and open ears um, for the rest of the project. And I think it set a really cool precedent. Yeah. And I think a lot of kids could relate.